Good evening and welcome to the Bowerman Track Club Inter Squad meet tonight here in Portland, Oregon. I'm Andrew Bumbelow here along Dan Hewling. Uh, we are both Bowerman Track Club professionals ourselves uh, and we are here tonight to bring you a little coverage of tonight's meeting. Um, we have four events on tap. We have a women's 1500, a men's 1500, a women's 5K and a men's 5K. And so we're really excited to, to have the first set of competitions here uh, this season. Um, Coach Schumacher, I know, really wanted to, to be able to still have competitions this season. And it's been a challenge even just to get here. Uh, the athletes have gone through through a lot of uh, mental juggling throughout the year so far to get to this point. And uh, we're just excited to get out here and, and prove some fitness and show what we've been working towards uh, for the entire um, greater part of 2020 so far. Um, I think it's important to note, first of all, that every precaution has been taken to hold, host this event. Um, every athlete has had to have two negative uh, COVID tests to be able to participate tonight. Um, we've really limited the amount of people that are, have been allowed into the venue, um, and everyone is wearing masks and maintaining social distance. And we're really just trying to listen to every, uh, protocol and follow them very strictly so that, uh, tonight can hopefully be the first of several events. Um, and everyone has a safe and enjoyable time. Um, we're really excited for tonight, and thank you for joining us, and uh, we look forward to what's about to come. Boys getting their final instructions for the start. We've got um, JT in one, Lopez two, and Mo in three. Um, now, Bubby, there, there's a couple storylines going on in this, this little exhibition. Yeah, so JT, I believe, he... He's on win number five or six in a row. Someone will have to. I think he's lost since USA's. That's right. Yeah, someone will have to kind of. So we're going on actually over 365 days, perhaps. Uh, or the, I, I guess it was late last year. It was in July. No, it's fine. We're talking about a year. This oh, man is like. seems to be maybe a flex. Wearing Mo's signature hat. Yeah, I don't know if that was, you know, discussed ahead of this or if it was just something that he decided to do, maybe trying to kind of steal Mo's power. I'm not really sure. It's a bold strategy, so we'll see how it works out, but I believe he's got a 500 meter shirt. Yeah, he's going to take the first 500 meters, uh, and, and then I think Lopez is going to take over then for about 400 meters, uh, and then we'll see Mo for 300 meters, and then it'll be a race. We'll see what happens after that. Um, yeah, so... So we've got the streak. The other stat we have is Mo has not broken 340 in the 1500, which would be ruthlessly right. big fun of him for our fantasy. That's right, yeah. He gets torched for that. Uh, yeah, I mean, a guy that's run well 58. And, and, okay, so they're here, so they're through 59.2. So I think that's kind of right where they were targeting. Uh, 59 two through 400 meters. Yeah, he's very fit. Yeah, he's very, very fit. Um, I think training camp's gone really well for him. He's strung together now, you know, a very long period of quality running, um, just training over the courses of months. So, uh, Wind's tied down a little bit here on the uh, home stretch. Coming up on 700. Lopez looking really good. He always looks good. He does always look good. Gosh. Man. And he's he's an old man at this point, you know? It's crazy. All right. So here, coming up on 800, we'll get you the split in just a second. 59-2! Yeah, so another 59-2. So they're, they're kind of... Going with, uh, go, perfectly right now, yeah. really. Go, one thing uh, that you and I maybe don't have to worry about is these three gentlemen mileage coming into this. I know uh, this crew has a, a longer race uh, perhaps planned in the next couple of weeks, so um, not not sure how their legs are coming into that. That's right, yeah. And it's, it's always a little tough coming down from altitude in that first 48-hour window. You never know how you're going to feel. Uh, I think some people respond really well to it, and other people maybe not so much. Have have a few. It's like the uh, wind picked up a little bit, standing up a little bit on the home stretch here. But 400 to go. 
All right, they're hitting the back stretch here. They're hitting the back stretch. They still look strong. They're moving. They're moving. Right now, JT is moving up on the outside, trying to improve his position going up the last 200 meters. It is going to be a battle down this home stretch, isn't it? Yeah. Matter of pride. Totally. I mean, I think JT, I don't know if it's JT or Mo that has more on the line right now in terms of... of the juice box on? Uh, I don't know. Ooh, it is so tight coming down the home stretch. They're all three shoulder to shoulder to shoulder. JT, Lopez. Oh, who's it going to be? JT by a nose. Wait, see if I'll grow up three. 